Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 11. Well, it is great to have you with us here as we close out another weekend together. I'm Jordan Smith. A camper went up in flames this afternoon along Highway 395 near Adams County. Here's a look at those photos on your screen there. You can see the plume of smoke and the flames that engulfed that motorhome and then the remains of it. Uh, the southbound lanes near Highway 26 were closed this afternoon while crews responded to the flames. It's still unclear what caused this fire to break out. We'll continue to update our website, kxy.com, as we learn more information. Today, veterans from a team called Team Rubicon lent a helping hand in recovery for those affected by the Gray Fire. For fire victims who lost everything, managing what's left of their property is costly and time-consuming. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez shares how organizations like Team Rubicon are hoping to help. Driving through Medical Lake, you see team after team working on destroyed properties. A new addition to those groups is Team Rubicon, an organization comprised of veterans from all over the United States. In the weeks after the Oregon Road and Gray fires, fire victims have had a long to-do list to manage what remains of their properties. Saturday, volunteers from Team Rubicon arrived in Medical Lake for a week of fire assistance efforts. We come in with the mindset of that we want to help the homeowners recover from this, get back to some sense of normalcy. Bill Blair is the field leadership mentor for Team Rubicon, which he refers to as the best volunteer organization in the world. We respond to hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, all different types of disasters all across the world. And But fires, for me personally, are the most devastating because you've lost everything. During their week in Medical Lake, Team Rubicon is focused on cutting down trees and removing debris for 150 homeowners. It's a tough thing to see these homeowners and talk to them. And we listen to their stories. Sometimes we're talking to them for a half hour before we get the first, you know, site survey done. At this point in the fire recovery process, the county and organizations like Team Rubicon have taken over efforts. If you haven't been connected for assistance, here's who to contact. We encourage them to go to their county emergency management or their county conservation district. Those are the folks who can be able to tie them directly in with the right resources. Reporting in Spokane, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now. A great story by our Allison Martinez there. Here's kind of a live look out over downtown. It's a little dark out there. You can't really see much. But if you were outside at all today, you saw it was a really vibrant blue sky day. Emily Bloom is in studio tonight for Matt Gray. Emily, we're getting treated to a really great start to October. We just have to make it through Monday first. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're going to get beautiful conditions in the week ahead, but like Jordan mentioned, yeah, we do have a little blip on the radar by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, as for today, though, temperatures uh, high today was 65, a few degrees below that seasonal average of 67 for this time of year, and temperatures across the region at the moment. Some areas in those upper 40s and many of us in those lower 50s, 44 is the current temperature for those of you in Coeur d'Alene and 39 in Colville. As we head into the overnight hour, tonight. 42 is where we will be as we are waking up on your Monday morning. Mostly clear skies, those winds coming out of the north about 5 to 7 miles an hour. Now moving into that Monday, we are going to have increasing cloud cover throughout the day. Uh, this is where we are going to be as you are waking up on that Monday. Uh, 33 will be the overnight low in Colville, 45 in Grand Coulee, 42 for those of you in the Pullman area, and 45 in Kellogg. Now taking a look at our future cast, you can see that increasing cloud cover I mentioned, and then we do have that chance of rain Monday early afternoon uh, primarily through central Washington and then to the eastern Washington going to be about 4 5 p.m. when we're looking at that and then moving into Tuesday widespread fog in the wake of all of that moisture moving through overall clear and quiet for tonight rain tomorrow we'll take a closer look at that coming up warming temperatures throughout the week and sunshine by the tail end of this week. All right, Emily, thanks for that. The city of Spokane is joining dozens of other cities across the country asking the U.S. Supreme Court to overturn two court cases that put limitations on how cities can address homelessness. In Boise v. Martin and Johnson v. Grant Pass, the court ruled that cities are not allowed to enforce public camping probations unless there are enough beds in shelters to serve the entire homeless population. According to Mayor Woodward here in Spokane, this allows people to stay out on the streets and refuse services because it's known that Spokane does not have enough beds. Woodward says this effort will allow them to allocate funding to services that focus on getting people off the street and into housing 
rather than doubling or tripling shelter bed counts in the city. Something needs to be done. Local jurisdictions need to have more control about how we address homelessness. And uh, we are right now having to spend more of our resources than we really want on those night by night uh, emergency low barrier shelters. We need to be able to invest in other resources that we know move people out of, of homelessness. But not everyone is happy about that new challenge. People like Julie Garcia, Jules Helping Hands, who interacts with homeless populations on a daily basis, says that this is another way of making homelessness illegal in the city. It's cruel and unusual punishment to punish somebody because they don't have a place to sleep tonight or because they don't have food or they can't afford a home. That case is set to go before the court next month. We'll bring you the very latest updates both on the air and online at our website, kxoy.com. Well, tonight marks six years since the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. A gunman opening fire into a crowd of concert goers in Las Vegas, killing 58 people, injuring another 500. Six years later tonight, music and remembrance outside the Clark County Government Center, remembering the lives that were stolen and forever changed. Here's Brian Horwath. One October, the senseless tragedy that took innocent souls upended our lives and devastated our community. You can move on, you can change the name. For many, the trauma of what happened in Las Vegas on October 1st, 2017, will always be relived on this day. Many of our officers were working the concert, rushed into danger, and today are still dealing with their own scars. Especially by those who were at the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival. You know, memories, my sister. Is, I was there with her. Malcolm Bissember lost his sister, Samantha Arjun, when she passed away in 2020 from injuries she suffered that night. Like so many others who were there, Bissember says he remains tormented. Just keep thinking, of what more could I have done? You know, it's, it's not, a, not an easy day for us. 58 people lost their lives that night when a gunman opened fire on festival goers from a strip hotel room window. Two more, including Arjun, died in the months and years that followed. From an unthinkable loss of life, Clark County Commissioner Jim Gibson says the Las Vegas Valley looked for hope and comfort and is still doing so today. Over the course of time, uh, we have to take with us the healing. And to the extent that we get healed, we're able to help others. We became members of a club that we didn't volunteer for. Steve Gomez, who lost his daughter Angela, says the pain of one October still feels the same years later. It's the day I lost my baby girl. And you know we can we can be mad, but we you know we just, we're blessed that we know she's in heaven. And as you heard, in the years following that shooting, two more victims died from their injuries. Six years later, the FBI has yet to confirm a motive for that shooting. Well, we do have much more ahead here on 4 News Now at 11, including the highly anticipated. Plus, we show you a scenic place to take in all these fall views on our Air Force adventure. And a beautiful start to the month of October. We do have some showers on the horizon. We're going to be talking more about that coming up in just a little bit. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Pape Machinery. The doctor will see you now. But do they really? Do they see all that you are? <laughs> At Kaiser Permanente, all of us work together to care for all that is you. Kaiser Permanente. Does your current roof have moss growing on it? Is it worn out or tattered? Have you recently seen the heat and electric bills going up? Then it may be time for you to get a new roof. 
from McVay Brothers. McVay Brothers is the only five-star certified select shingle master contractor in the Inland Northwest. We also have great financing options to help you out, like no money down and up to 12 years low interest financing. So you can get everything you want now and pay for it later. At McVay Brothers, we're always working for you. What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable lithium-ion power plant. So fast and so convenient. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Look, you can inflate all four tires on a single charge. It has a built-in smart pressure digital sensor that gauges and automatically automatically stops when the set tire pressure is reached. Easily inflate pool toys, exercise balls, and more. Call or go online now and get the complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for the factory direct price of just $79.99. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. And we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. To order, call 1-800-978-6195. That's 1-800-978-6195 or go to GetBullseyePro.com. I was in the hospital with my son for 18 months. When he got injured, I knew I had to be strong. I just remember rushing into his room and giving him a big hug and letting him know I was there. These veterans and families are just a few of the heroes we serve at Homes for Our Troops. We build specially adapted custom homes with features like wheelchair access and automatic door openers that allow them to focus on their recovery and family. This house is freedom. It's hope. It's a new beginning. Visit HFOTUSA.org. Everyone is ready for Monday Night Football. Geno Smith and the Seahawks are ready to take over the Big Apple, while Daniel Jones and the G-Men are ready to make a giant statement. Seahawks-Giants at 8 on ESPN and ABC. Inside Edition. These are the stories that impact your life. Thanks for staying up with us here tonight. Uh, tomorrow may not be the best day to try this, but this upcoming weekend, it is going to be perfect to get outside Go for a walk or maybe a bike ride along the Centennial Trail. In this week's Air Force Adventure, we're giving you a bird's eye view of that trail in Idaho. The Spokane River Centennial Trail is Eastern Washington's recreational trail backbone. It runs from the Washington-Idaho border all the way up to Nine Mile Falls at the Nine Mile Falls Recreation Area. It's 39.2 miles in Washington. It also, from the state line, heads out all the way through Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene and ends at Higgins Point, 24 miles in North Idaho. So altogether over 60 miles of recreational trail for this region. The Washington-Idaho state line is a beautiful a renovated rail trail bridge that marks the two-state trail connection. Um, as you head into the valley area, what you have is really wide open spaces. As we come in along Upriver Drive, is more of an urban recreation trail. A number of recreational trails will spur into the Centennial Trail over time. Across the river from where we're standing here on Bridge Avenue, mile 23, um, just uh, east of Kendall Yards, we'll see the South Gorge Trail come online and make a wonderful loop between Post Street Bridge and the Sandifer Bridge in the west edge of Kendall Yards. Local residents use the trail in different ways. It's also really becoming an important way to commute to and from work and get folks out of vehicles. Friends of the Centennial Trail are the community advocacy voice for the maintenance, the completion, the wayfinding, and the use of the trail. So we're here to take your feedback and share it with state parks and our Centennial Trail Coordinating uh, Council. Um, again, the more that, that use it, the better it will be. But again, we just ask that the, the community understand what a beautiful recreational resource we have, support it and celebrate it and enjoy it. Well, as I said, the weather's going to be perfect to try that out next weekend. Or, as Emily was just telling us, to get up to Green Bluff. And yeah. tell yeah. us about that. I took a trip there yeah. uh, yes. yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. Yeah, Maybe. Saturday. I took a trip up there. Got some apples. Uh, baked Whoa. an apple pie Saturday night. Didn't bring uh, any in. So, no, I didn't. Unbelievable. No, but... um, yeah, I'm going to be catching all kinds of grief about that for a while here. Oh, yeah. So. We won't let you live it down. <laughs> 
Um, but yes, very much leaning in uh, to the fall season and Mother Nature has been on board. It has been uh, beautiful and uh, for today, first official, well, first day of October, uh, just as nice temperatures right now in Spokane at 53 degrees and 44 for those of you in the Coeur d'Alene area. Uh, temperatures in the overnight hour is going to be falling quite a bit. Uh, by 3 a.m. we are at 46 degrees. Uh, waking up 7 a.m. 42 and then climbing into those mid 50s by about the noon hour. Uh, for tonight, overnight low in Spokane is going to be 42 degrees. Mostly clear, but we are going to see some increasing cloud cover as we move throughout the day tomorrow and a brief interruption in our weather right along with those increasing clouds. Uh, overnight lows across the region. Uh, pick your city depending upon where exactly you are at. 39 for those of you in Ritzville, 44 in Omac, and 52 for those of you in Lewiston. By tomorrow afternoon, we're up to 61 degrees and we do have that increasing cloud cover that I'm Winds by that point coming out of the north at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Most of us making it into the 60s tomorrow. A few areas of even into the 70s. 71 will be the high in Lewiston and 66 in Grand Coulee. Um, for the next couple of days, you can see temperatures climbing into the upper 60s by Thursday. Uh, and we're going to get a lot more sunshine right along with that. Uh, next weekend's forecast, uh, unusually warm as well. We're going to be taking a closer look at that coming up in just a little while. All right, Emily, thanks so much for that. Well, Halloween is fast approaching, but experts are encouraging shoppers to stay ahead of the curve by starting your holiday shopping now. Retailers are already vying for your holiday shopping dollars by holding early sales. ABC's Alexis Christophorus is here now with where you can save. Ready or not, the holiday shopping season is here. With 84 shopping days until Christmas, retailers are giving consumers more time to shop deals. These early sales give you a chance to get some things early and gives you more of a chance to hunt for deals so that Black Friday is not your only chance this year. Target Circle Week kicks off today through October 7th for members of its free loyalty program with up to 40% off thousands of items. Plenty Beauty is coming to Ulta Beauty at Target. Spend $25 on certain beauty brands, get a $5 Target gift card. Walmart's Baby Day deals is back. Walmart's holiday kickoff runs October 9th through the 12th with discounts across fashion, home, and tech. Amazon's unwrapping its Prime Big Deal Days October 10th and 11th for Prime members. You're kind of a big deal. Also October 10th and 11th, Best Buy hosting a 48-hour flash sale on hundreds of gadgets. But with inflation still top of mind for consumers, does holiday shopping early really pay off? If your child wants a specific toy, you may not find it at the last minute, and you're better served by getting an early holiday deal when you find it. Data from Adobe shows last Black Friday, electronics were discounted nearly 30% on average, while toys could be had for about 34% off. Experts recommend shopping early for those hard to find items. Barbie is getting lots of buzz and throwbacks like the Nintendo 64 console are expected to be hot sellers. A Nintendo 64, it's been a minute since that was a hot seller. That's interesting. Well, today marks the halfway point in the Badminton World Junior Championships hosted at the podium here in Spokane. The 400 young competitors got a break from badminton today. Instead, Spokane Sports hosted a cultural day at the Pavilion and Riverfront Park to introduce the athletes and their families to the city's history and traditions. 40 different countries are represented in this tournament and many of these junior athletes have never been in the United States. Tomorrow, the players will pick up their rackets again and they'll finish out the last week of the Badminton World Championship. Inside the podium, there will be nine championship courts and awards for mixed team and individual championship. The event runs until Sunday, October 8th. Some young athletes kicked off their first football game at the One Spokane Stadium yesterday. Many people filling up those stands, cheering on the young players from the Spokane Youth Football League. We spoke with head coach Benson James, who's optimistic about the future of youth football, especially with the addition of that new stadium. Now that the stadium here, I believe there'll be more youth sports games here, whether it's playoff or championship games. and. That's what kids, gonna, they're going to they're gonna fight to get here to play on this stadium. They're going to want to do it. 
Well, and you saw the excitement, those kids running out of the tunnel. Jones says he can't wait to see more youth players take the field and play at this new stadium, which he believes will be a great pathway for future athletes. To the NFL. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Coming in! <laughs> fall in! It's time to fall in. To fall with four episodes of MASH. Now it all falls into place. So leave the summer behind. Weeknights beginning at 6 on MeTV 4.2. With every load secured, every cigarette butt that doesn't go out the window, every fast food bag that arrives at its proper destination, and every time we politely say, hey, there's a better place for that, Washington gets a little cleaner, a little safer, a little more breathtaking. Because small choices add up to a home we can all be proud of. We keep Washington litter free. What you're seeing today is a successful eye surgery. And this, the dedicated hours of virtual training that made it happen. Academic advancements are being achieved every day through collaborative, hands-on learning. Upskilling careers, now made possible through immersive environments. These are the ways the metaverse is being used today. The average cost of hearing aids is nearly $5,000. But now you can buy a full pair of rechargeable, wireless, it's nearly invisible, easy to use, very comfortable hearing devices for only $99. $99 for a full pair? Yes, but only from Audion. Audion Atoms are trusted by over 300,000 customers nationwide. My Audion really have been a godsend to me. Audion Atoms are tiny, but powerful and nearly invisible. It's small, it's easy to use. Audion Atoms can be sold over the phone today without having to see a doctor or audiologist. Order your full pair of high quality hearing devices for only $99 right over the phone. Call. 1-800-679-4309. 1-800-679-4309. What would you give for a child you loved to make their wish come true? To help them fight a critical illness? Just imagine what you'd do. Every single one of us can make the stars align. Because when we come together, hope and joy will shine. Everyone is ready for Monday Night Football. Geno Smith and the Seahawks are ready to take over the Big Apple. While Daniel Jones and the G-Men are ready to make a giant statement. Seahawks Giants at 8 on ESPN and ABC. Live with Kelly and Marcus, entertainment's number one talk show. Weekdays at 9 and 3. Cue the Jefferson's theme song. The Cougs are moving on up. Welcome into sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. Washington State football has climbed to number 13 in the latest AP Top 25 poll. This is WSU's highest ranking since 2018. Washington State returns to action on Saturday when they take on UCLA. Kickoff is at noon from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. The Seattle since last year's... You know, it was tough. It was tough. It, it, it was, uh, you know, I didn't... I thought about retiring. I thought about... A lot of things. You know what I mean? Is this going to be it for me? Seahawks Pro Bowl cornerback Reek Woolen is also expected to return. Woolen hasn't played since week two due to a chest injury. Kickoff is set for 515 on Monday night. You can catch the game right here on KXLY. We will have coverage of this one on a special edition of 4 News Now following the game. And the final day of baseball was meaningless for the Seattle Mariners. The Mariners lost to the Texas Rangers on Saturday night, ending Seattle's playoff hopes. Mariners catcher Cal Raleigh expressed his disappointment appointment for missing out on the postseason. Raleigh said the organization needs to do a better job at its commitment to winning. We got to commit to winning. We have to, you know, um, 
commit to going, getting those players. You see other teams going out, going for it, getting big time pitchers, getting big time hitters, and um, you know we, we have to we have to do that to keep up. And um, you know I think we've done a great job of growing some players here and within the farm system. But you know sometimes you, you have to go out and you have to buy, and that's just the name of the game. And um, you know we'll see what happens this off season. Hopefully we can add some add some players and um, become a better team. Raleigh apologized for his comments after today's season finale against the Rangers. Mariners trying to end the season on a high note. Bases loaded. Dominic Canzone grounds one to first. The throw home is not in time as Seattle takes the lead in the fourth inning. Fast forward to the ninth inning. Runners on base for Texas. Seattle trying to close it out. Mitch Garver. At the plate for the Rangers, gets underneath this one. Canzone is right there, though, to seal the deal for the victory. Now, with the win, the Mariners spoil the Rangers' chances to win the American League West Division. That goes to the Houston Astros. And a wrap on the 2023 season for Seattle ends in a 1-0 win. Seattle finishes the regular season with an unofficial home attendance of nearly 2.6 million, which is the highest attendance for the team since 2005. And mark your calendars. The Mariners open spring training February 24th of next year. That'll wrap us up for sports. Download the 4 News Now app today. Watch live weekdays at 9 and now 3. Only on KXLY ABC4. Bruno! Bruno! Pop on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes us a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get 0% APR financing for 36 months on the Rogue Platinum or get a low 369 per month lease on Rogue. When you're looking to upgrade the look and energy efficiency of your home, no one does a better job at a better price than McVeigh Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows. For over 65 years, McVeigh Brothers has been on the cutting edge of the newest technologically advanced products sold. We're now offering triple pane windows, custom colored windows of your choice, and amazing mini blinds between the glass that will last a lifetime. At McVeigh Brothers, we're working for you. September 5th marks the first day of school for many of our Spokane students. As the back to school rush ramps up, we want to remind drivers to leave extra time for your commute. Slow down and watch for kids biking and walking to and from school. School zones are slow zones, 20 miles per hour for a reason. Reducing your speed gives you more reaction time, creating a safer situation for everyone involved. Keep this in mind, the chance of a fatality crash with a pedestrian more than doubles, going from 20 miles an hour to 30 miles an hour. Be aware around school buses too. If the red lights are flashing and the sign is extended, stop to protect children as they get on or off the bus. Minimize distractions and keep your focus on the road. That goes for our student pedestrians as well. Be aware of your surroundings, especially when you're crossing the street. Let's make this school year a safe year for everyone. Have a great school year. MeTV presents Sick Burns on Frank Burns. Why don't you guys like me, huh? Because you're a lousy doctor and a rotten person. Aside from that, well, there's your pimples. My pores won't close. <laughs> you are a total and definitive pain in the gluteus maximus. Would you like me to translate? You can't talk to me like that. Watch more of these sick burns on Frank Burns on MASH. You no, know, you really ought to see a proctologist about possible brain damage. With Max beginning at 6 on MeTV 4.2. Welcome back to 4 News Now at 11. Uh, I am Emily Bloom filling in for Matt Gray as he enjoys the weekend off. Uh, so a beautiful start to the month of October, uh, really leaning into the fall season. And uh, temperatures right now across the region in the 40s and 50s, depending upon where exactly you are at. And we're going to have quite a bit of change here over the next 12 hours. Now we do have an interruption in the forecast for tomorrow. We'll talk about that in just a few seconds. Uh, for right now, temperatures falling into those mid 40s by the 3 a.m. hour, 7 a.m. As you are waking up, we are in the lower 40s. And then by close to noon tomorrow, we're climbing back up into the mid 50s. We're going to start out your Monday with a little bit of sunshine, but we are going to have increasing cloud covers throughout the day. Uh, tonight, overnight low in Spokane will be 42 degrees, mostly clear skies. Those winds coming out of the north about five 
to seven miles an hour. Uh, and across the region, this is where we're gonna be as you're waking up on your Monday. Uh, depending upon where exactly you are at, most of us in the 40s and a few areas even down into the 30s. Uh, 39 in Ritzville, 33 for those of you in Colville. Gonna be a shock to the system, uh, definitely coming off the heels of summertime. By tomorrow afternoon, we're up to 61 degrees with that increasing cloud cover, as I mentioned, and then that system moving through. Most of us back into the 60s tomorrow. 60 will be the high for those of you in Colville, 61 in Kellogg, 63 in Ritzville. Uh, now the system I mentioned, you can see the increasing cloud cover in the first half of the day but then we have that uh, system moving through in the early afternoon and then by uh, about 4 to 5 p.m. in eastern Washington uh, looking to be light rain not going to be a widespread event or anything less than a tenth of an inch of rain uh, but that is something to put on your radar and then moving throughout the rest of the week we are going to be warming up very nicely Jordan all right Emily thanks so much for that Well, based on the forecast for this upcoming week, you wouldn't know it, but it's spooky season. And uh, what you just heard was our morning show photojournalist Alex Knapp bravely making his way through one of the haunted houses that's at Scarywood this year. And there's a lot to be afraid of this year with over 250 scarers lurking around every quarter. You'll have until October 28th to check the park out for yourself. Uh, as much as I enjoy it, I love October. I love the weather. I'm happy watching from here. That's not really my scene, Emily. I don't know yeah, about you. Yeah, absolutely not. That's not uh, you? That is a hard <laughs> no. As a morning reporter, I did do that once, and it's because I was paid to do it. You were paid? <laughs> That's the only reason you went out there. <laughs> like Would not do it again. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.